Bed bug scare at a Pueblo high school. A science teacher collecting a bed bug inside a classroom. Parents reaching out to News 5 for answers. News 5's Jessica Barreto watching out for you with how the school reacted and the results of that health department inspection. What can you tell us, Jessica? Rob, the Pueblo City County Health Department did confirm they received a bed bug complaint yesterday. After inspectors checked out the area, they found no other traces of bed bugs. But despite the nuisance, students in the science class where the bug was spotted learned a thing or two about this specimen up close. They happened to notice a bug crawling across the student's backpack. Students at a science class here at Dolores Huerta Preparatory High School in Pueblo taking up a live experiment when a bed bug decided to pay a visit. They looked at it underneath the microscope and then they compared it to some of the, uh, the websites and that type of thing and they did actually determine that it was one. After consulting with D60 and the school nurse, school principal Fred Segura called the health department around 2.30 p.m. who sent out two inspectors to sweep the classroom and school buses. The inspection took more than an hour and turned up with no other traces of bed bugs. After their search, they were, they were convinced that there's no epidemic, there's no infestation. We're good here at DHPH. Despite the all clear, a notice was sent out to parents like Shonda Flanagan, but she says there wasn't much to get worked up about. It was not alarmed. It was one bed bug. The health department says bed bugs are usually found in residential areas, a school being far from their ideal feeding ground. A bed bug's going to starve in this place because, again, they're nocturnal feeders. They don't come out. They don't feed during the daytime. And there's nobody here in the evening. But there's always a chance they could pop up. Generally, it's pretty rare that, you know, a bed bug would hitch a ride on a backpack or article of clothing, but it does happen. The health department also noting that bed bugs are not known to carry diseases, but they are advising parents and teachers to remain vigilant for any signs of bed bugs. A warning Flanagan has passed on to her daughter. She understands and she knows what to look for. Continue to keep an eye out for any other signs of bed bugs and take the necessary precautions should any other problems arise. But right now their main focus is actually keeping the flu at bay rather than bed bugs. Watching out for you in Pueblo, Jessica Barreto, News 5. Jessica.